Mahamuddaya, Teruvan Saranai. Dear children, today we are hoping to take you on a pilgrimage to our main monastery, which is located in Polgavila, a place where a lot of people came requesting for ordination. A lot of people went for refuge to Buddha Dhamma Sangha. A lot of people recognized the Buddha. A lot of sermons were preached by our teacher Lokasami Nuhansa. A lot of suttas were translated and explained in detail. One of the main places in the world to propagate the Buddha's great teachings. So, first of all, by paying homage to uh, Buddha Dhamma Sangha, and by observing five precepts and also by venerating our teacher, let's start the program by showing gratefulness to the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha and by paying homage to Lokasami Nuhansa. So now let's observe the five precepts. Sadhu, 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 Namo Buddhaya. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Namo tasse bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhasse. Namo tasse bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhasse. Namo tasse bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhasse. Buddhaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi. Dhammaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi. Saṅgaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi. Dutiyampi buddhaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi. Dutiyampi dhammaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi. Dutiyampi saṅgaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi. Tatiyampi buddhaṃ saranaṃ Gacchami Tatiyampi Dhammaṃ Saranaṃ Gacchami Tatiyampi Saṅgaṃ Saranaṃ Gacchami Sādhu, Sādhu, Sādhu To observe the five precepts, say after me. I observe the precept of abstaining from killing beings. I observe the precept of abstaining from stealing. I observe the precept of abstaining from sexual misconduct. I observe the precept of abstaining from telling lies. I observe the precept of abstaining from taking intoxicating drinks and drugs. I follow this precept. For happiness in this life, for rebirth in heaven, 
and to realize the Four Noble Truths. In this Gautama Buddha's dispensation, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Okay, now let's do that one, Vandana. Iti piso bhagavar hang samma sambuddho vijjacharana sampanno sugato loka vidu anuttaro purisadamma sarati sata deva manusanang Buddha Bhagavati Swakato Bhagavata Dhammo Sanditiko Akaliko Ehipasiko Panaiko Pachatang Veditabo Vinyo Hiti Supati Panno Bhagavato Savaka Sango Ujupati Panno Bhagavato Savaka Sango Nyaya Pati Panno Bhagavato Savaka Sango Samiti Pati Panno Bhagavato Savaka Sango Yadidan Chattari Purisa Yugani At Purisa Pugala Esa Bhagavato Savaka Sango Ahuneyo Pahuneyo Dakineyo Anjali Karaniyo Anuttarang Punyaketang Lokasati Vandami Cheti Ang Sabbang Sabbatane Supatititang Sari Rikadatu Mahaboding Buddha Rupang Sakalang Sada Yas Mule Nisinova Sabari Vijayangaka Pato Sabang Yutang Sata Vande Tang Bodhipadapang Ime Ete Mahabodhi Loka na te na pujita aham pite namasami bodhi raja namatute sadhu 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 say after me my great teacher Gautama Buddha Beside the river Neranjara At Buddha Gaya Seated under the Bodhi tree Purified the body, speech, and mind, even in secrecy, did not commit any misdeeds, guarded sense faculty. Controlled sense faculty, my supreme Buddha, realize the Dhamma, 
without anyone's help. Obtain supernatural powers. Developed great virtue. Concentration and wisdom. Followed the noble path, the noble eightfold path. Achieved true happiness, understood all worlds. and escape from all worlds. Became a great teacher for taming others. Became an incomparable teacher for taming others with great abilities. The Blessed One became a great teacher for gods and humans. Taught the sublime Dhamma for realization. Sadhu, sadhu, my Buddha became a Bhagavad. My homage to Gautama Buddha. My homage to the relics of the Buddhas. My homage to the Jayasri Mahabodhi tree. My homage to the noble Dhamma. My homage to the noble Sangha. Sadhu, sadhu. The Blessed One obtain all these qualities. The Buddha became a Bhagavad. The Buddha became a Bhagavad. The Buddha became a Bhagavad. Sadhu. Sadhu, Sadhu. Nama Buddhaya, meritorious children. So, first of all, let's pay homage to the Buddha three times. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Namo tasa bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhasa Namo tasa bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhasa Namo tasa bhagavato arhato Sama Sambuddhasa 
Homage to the Blessed One, the Worthy One, the Supremely Enlightened One, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Nama Buddhaya, Tiruvan Saranai. And uh, may our homage be to our teacher, Most Venerable, our Sarai, Kiribat Gude, Jnana Nanda Mahathera. That is our Pingvat, Lokasamin Vansa. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. So, children, so when I say Sadhu, you all also should say Sadhu. Wholeheartedly. Sadhu means what? What's the meaning of Sadhu? Sadhu means you are happy. Excellent. Excellent. Dear children, today we decided to take you on a pilgrimage. Pilgrimage to visit where? Our main monastery. Our main monastery is located in Polgahavila in Sri Lanka. Polgahavila in Vaduava. Now we are seeing the main monastery, the entrance. This is the Sambuddha Raja Maligava. Sri Gautama Sambuddha Raja Maligava. This is a beautiful Vihara uh, that is built for the Buddha and for the great Arahants. And then there is a monk's uh, meeting area. And then there is a stupa in this monastery. Then there is a big alms hall, a special hall for the monks to have food, for the lay people to offer food to the Sangha and gain merit. Then there are special kutis or rooms, lodging for the monks. Some rooms, some cottages are in seclusion in, uh, in the forest. And uh, for the new monks to reside in a complex and then slowly they will be sent to other monasteries. So this is the main monastery where monks are trained. Lot of people have come to this place to become monks. If anyone wants to become a monk in Mahameunava, this is the first place a person would visit to meet our teacher Lokasami Mahansa. And then lot of parents gave up their children. Lot of parents offered their children to the Gautama Buddha Sasana in this monastery, in this meritorious land. Lot of Buddha's relics are enshrined in this meritorious land. Lot of relics of Arahants are enshrined in this meritorious land. More than thousand monks were ordained in this land. Our teacher Lokusami Nuhansa translated the Buddha's teachings from Pali to Singhala in this monastery. And a lot of Dhamma books, a lot of Dhamma publications were published and distributed in this place. A lot of monks were sent to many other monasteries in Sri Lanka and also throughout the world from this place. This is an extremely a meritorious place in the world. A significant place. Rejoice in this place, children. This place was built by our teacher, most venerable, our Sarai Kiribat Gude, Jnananda Mahathera, by our Pingat Lukusami Nuhansa, with the generous support of the lay people. When this land was gifted to our Lukusami Nuhansa, the only hope that he had was to uplift the Gautama Buddha Sasana to flourish and to establish the Gautama Buddha Sasana again in Sri Lanka. After he started propagating Dhamma, the people who were worrying over lust and worrying over delusion, when people were satisfying their lives with lust, anger and delusion and in between when they were regretting a lot and suffering a lot they found a place to overcome lust, anger and delusion. That is this amazing place. If there's a land of virtuous monks and day and night doing meritorious deeds, this is one of the lands 
in this universe. If thousands of devas have visited, this is one of those lands in the earth. You can see how monks go for the Buddha Vandana to venerate the Bodhi tree, to venerate the stupa, a meritorious land to gain enormous merit. Because of the pandemic, we had to stop uh, people coming into the monastery. But still you can develop a pleasant mind. This land is saved for you all, for the future. Now you can see this beautiful palace. This beautiful palace was built for the Buddha. Now we are entering the Sri Gautama Sambuddha Raja Maligavu. So now you can see a lot of carvings. Then the beautiful Buddha statue. So there is a nice way and our Lokaswami Nuhansa has built this uh, Vihara Mandira in a way to learn the Buddha's life story as well. So when you enter to this Vihara Mandira, first when you look up you can see how our Buddha in a past life he has started the journey of uh, becoming a Buddha, how he dedicated his life by keeping his mother on his back and uh, dedicated his life swimming in the great ocean to save his mother. Now what you are seeing is uh, the Buddha's birth, trembling the whole world, being bathed by hot and cold water with the protection of four divine beings by the guardian gods of a Bodhisattva came to the human world. And this is Queen Mahamaya who gave birth to our Buddha. When our Bodhisattva, when he was born, when the Bodhisattva was born, he was untouched. No blood, no phlegm came out from the mother's womb when the baby boy was delivered. Our Bodhisattva, just after he was born, he kept seven steps ahead and he did a lion row. What was the lion row? I will become the chief in the world. I will become the foremost person in the world and this will be my last birth. See, on the first day the Bodhisattva was born, he was able to do a lion row like that. When normal beings are waiting to come back to the world again and again, when normal human beings are delighted and having craving towards everything that they have, when they can't give up everything, when they want things again and again, this newborn baby is willing to get rid of this endless journey of being born and dead. Children, pay homage to our Bodhisattva. Think of the Buddha's birth and think may my homage be to our Buddha's birth. The holy land, the sacred land. Think of the sacred land in Lumbini. Think of the real place where Buddha was born. Now look at that place. Have a pleasant mind. And now children, we are going further. And now you can see God, Sakka, leader for two divine worlds. God, Sakka also went for refuge to Buddha Dhamma Sangha. Next, you are seeing Arahan Mahakasapa, who took the responsibility of the Gautama Buddha's dispensation. He took the responsibility to protect the Buddha Sasana, to take care of the Sangha and the four groups, the Bhikkhus, Bhikkhunis and Upasakas and Upasikas. Worship Arahan Mahakasapa children. Worship, think, may my homage be to Arahan Mahakasapa. Children, right now what you are seeing is the place where uh, Buddha preached the first Dhamma sermon. To depict that place, to depict that place, our teacher Lokasami Nuhansa has uh, nicely made a Buddha statue uh, with the symbol of preaching Dhamma. And then you can see a painting of five 
bhikkhus listening to the first dhamma sermon of the buddha so many devas and brahmans many devas and brahmas listen to the first sermon now think children may my home age be to the first dhamma sermon to the place where buddha preached the first dhamma sermon to the whole world and after listening to the first dhamma sermon kondanya swamin vahanse kondanya thera became and stream entrant became a stream entrant now we are going further ahead now you can see a statue of arahan sariputta then you can see a painting of ruvanali mahastupa and now children you are seeing the main buddha statue of this shrine room of this vihara mandira this is the buddha's enlightenment dear children right now what you are seeing is the buddha's enlightenment the great buddha statue in this island the greatest and the most beautiful buddha statue in this world after the buddha statue in bodh gaya this is the most beautiful buddha statue children have a plus and mind this is to depict the buddha's enlightenment becoming a samma sambuddha by defeating the mara gods are rejoicing the earth is the evidence for the buddha's great dedication the earth express the evidence by quaking the whole earth to defeat the mara now dear children look at the great buddha statue the moment of becoming a buddha now children keep your knees on the floor place your knees on the floor and then keep your palms together keep the palms on the top of the forehead the buddha is winning the whole world think of that moment the buddha defeating the mara and realizing the four noble truths by thinking this great moment bend down by saying buddham saranam gachami worship the buddha once worship the buddha one time and then children worship one more time by thinking by saying dhammam saranam gachami and worship the buddha one more time thinking sangham saranam gachami now children offer your life to the buddha and think may i have the opportunity to attain kalyana mintas until i attain nibbana and have a strong determination by the power of all the merit we have accumulated may we meet kalyana mintas until we realize the four noble truths now worship the buddha one more time and then we'll visit the other places the rest of the places in this palace now you are seeing a painting next to the on the left hand side from the buddha statue from the main buddha statue you can see a beautiful devata worshiping the buddha actually when the mara came to defeat the buddha under the bodhi tree the blessed one said this earth witnessed my effort and my dedication so then the earth trembled so dharati mata the earth witnessed the buddha's great dedication in past lives by quaking the whole earth so that depicts uh, that situation that incident depicts from this image showing a devata like a earth bound god worshiping the buddha so it shows that the earth is witnessing what the bodhisattva did the bodhisattva's great dedication to become a buddha and after the earthquake even the mara and everyone was defeated and they went losing the battle and uh, on the right hand side uh, from the buddha statue from the main buddha statue you can see devas are dancing and singing they are happy that a buddha has born in this world a uh, bodhisattva has become an samma sambuddha has become a samma sambuddha has realized the four noble truths and now the world will be illuminated with the great dhamma the devas are rejoicing in 
the appearance of the Buddha. So then further you can see the Buddha's great ability of taming Nagas, Taskas, Brahmas, Murderers. Then you can see another painting where Buddha preached the Mahasamaya Sutta along with uh, monks. Many devas attend to this uh, sermon. And uh, furthermore, when you further go ahead, you can see the statue of Arhan Moggallana, one of the chief disciples of the Buddha. Then uh, you can see the chief female disciples of the Buddha, the Bhikkhunis. So the two chief disciples are Arhan Bhikkhuni Kema, uh, who is the chief among the wise, and Arhan Upalavana is the chief among who has supernatural powers. Then uh, you can see another painting of uh, Serivila Mangala Mahastupa to worship the Buddha's forehead relic. So all these uh, amazing places uh, has brought to one place for devotees to venerate and gain merit. See our Lokasami Nasi's compassion. So now you can see uh, lotus leaves. So this image shows the nature of Arahants. It's like a lotus leaf that is untouched by water. Water slides away. And then you can see image of swans. So Arahants are like swans like swans go from one place to another place one pond to another pond without being attached to ponds and then if we go further up then the next place what you are seeing is the Buddha's passing away children see after propagating Dharma for 45 years the Blessed One passed away so and you can see some monks were sad the monks who were still trying to practice the path and this was the day our Buddha passed away forever attained the Mahaparinibbana so let's pay our homage to our Buddha recalling the passing away the Mahaparinibbana of the Buddha the Buddha's great light the Buddha's great wisdom the Buddha's great compassion dispelled like a lamp has extinguished from that day onwards Arahan Mahakasapa took the responsibility. And then when we go further, we can see Arahan Ananda, our Buddha's chief attendant. Have a pleasant mind, children. Worship Arahan Ananda. And then you can see a Brahma Raja, a Brahma, that is a Gatikara Brahma. So, our Buddha in a past life when he was a Brahmin by the name Jyotipal, Gatikar helped him to become a monk during Kashyapa Buddha's time. And then Gautama Buddha, after becoming a Buddha, Gautama Buddha again met his friend Gatikar as a Brahma. And Gatikar met his friend later as a Buddha. See how things happen in the world when you do meritorious deeds you meet again but as wise and extraordinary people so don't give up doing merit just like a pot get filled drop by drop do merit as much as possible use this human life each and every time each and every moment each and every second spend with a wholesome thought spend with a wholesome mind right now what you are seeing is the a statue of San Tusita Deva, our great Bodhisattva, in the Tusita divine world, waiting for the right time for him to be born in the human world to become the Buddha. San Tusita Deva came to this world as a human after checking for the five great conditions after being invited by the divine beings and conceived in Queen Mahamaya's womb, mindfully conceived. And then now we are going to go to the west and to the 
most sacred place in this palace in this shrine in this vihara mandira this is the place where buddha's relics and lot of arahant relics are enshrined you call this place as sandun kutia this place is made with sandalwood carvings of sandalwood monks worship monks of her morning buddha puja then afternoon buddha puja and evening gilampasa they chant pirit in this place and then there are places for the monks to meditate and you can see a statue of the buddha's uh, body during the fasting time when buddha was giving pain to the body so look at the buddha's dedication and for the monks to develop effort to meditate and now what you're seeing is the place where monks meditate and they do walking meditation and uh, a calm place for the monks so and then around the palace you can see a pond and also vesantara jataka and then near the palace you can see arahant mahinda's great uh, statue uh, of arahant mahinda and then the bodhi tree compound so and then a special place to make offerings so i think one day you should come and visit this place and gain merit gain enormous merit so this beautiful land in this beautiful land lot of people gain merit to be born in divine worlds lot of people directed their lives to divine worlds to brahma worlds and also they were able to plant a seed to attain nibbana all these things were possible because of just one person our teacher lokaswami mahasa even aran mahind had a teacher aran mahind was trained for many years and then arahan mahind was able to see other arahans as well but our teacher lokaswami mahasa he read dhamma books on his own and then only after learning dhamma from the books without having a teacher without having anyone to teach him about a proper monk life without having anyone to explain him what paticca samuppada is dependent origination is and what suttas are he all alone learn all these things and gave it for us out of compassion without holding anything in his hand a great teacher for us was born in this era for us to develop our minds to a great extent therefore children don't miss this rare opportunity gain merit as much as possible don't have attachment towards this human life have faith in divine worlds to meet divine beings who have realized the dhamma and have a hope to become a stream entrant and be born among devas and to realize the four noble truths in this gautama buddha's dispensation sadhu 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 namo buddhaya namo buddhaya meritorious children today we are chanting anguli mala pirita anguli mala parita protective chant of arahant anguli mala do you know the background story for a blessed one to grant the chanting of anguli mala parita that's because arahant anguli mala when he was going on arms round he saw a mother expecting a baby and struggling a lot to deliver the baby then arahant anguli mala came to the buddha and asked a way to help that mother then buddha advised arahant anguli mala to go and utter a truth do a declaration of truth what kind of a declaration of truth the buddha would have uh, suggested arahant anguli mala buddha said anguli mala go and tell that you have never killed living beings then anguli mala said blessed one me how can i tell that i have killed so many humans so many living beings from these hands then buddha said anguli mala tell 
go and tell, go and utter a truth, saying that from the day I became a noble disciple, from the day I became a disciple of a Buddha, I have never killed a living being intentionally. By that truth, go and bless anyone. Anyone who gets those blessings, anyone with the power of that truthfulness, the truthfulness of abstaining from killing living beings throughout the monk life will stand for a yawn. That power will remain for a yawn. Kapattai maha tejam paritantam banamahe. So that power of Dharahant Angulimala's truth of declaration will remain for how long? Kapattai maha tejam paritantam banamahe. So even the water that is used to wash the seat which Angulimala sat on and recite this paritta, that water can end all suffering. If a pregnant mother suffers from any pain, she will be well and strong enough to stand instantly. Now we shall recite the very powerful paritta taught by the Buddha to Arahant Angulimala, which will hold its power for an yon. Kapattai Maha means, which will hold its power for an yon. So then Arahant Angulimala went back where that mother was and chanted this. The baby boy was built, delivered peacefully. So we should chant Angulimala Pirit every day and get the protection from Arhant Angulimala's truthfulness. So let's chant Angulimala Parit. Namo tasa bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhasa Namo tasa bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhasa Namo tasa bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhasa Paritang yam banantasa Nisinathanadovanang Udakam pivina seti Sabba meva parisayang Sothina gabha vuttanang Yancha sadheti tankhane Tera sanguli malas Lokana ten bhasitang Kapathai mahatejang Paritantang bhanamahe even the water that is used to wash, the seat which Arhan Angulimala sat on and recited this paritta, that water can end all sufferings. If a pregnant mother suffers from many pain, she will be well and be strong enough to stand instantly. Now we shall recite that very powerful paritta taught by the Buddha to Arahan Angulimala, which will hold its power for an yon. Yato ham bagini ariyaya jati ajato na bhijana mi santincha pana jivita voro peta te na satche na sotti te ho tu sotti gabbasati yato ham bagini ariyaya jati ajato na bhijana mi Santincha panang jivita voro peta tena satchena sotti te ho tu sotti gabhasati yato ham bagini ariyaya jati ajato na bijana mi santicha panang jivita voro peta Tena satchena sotti te ho tu sotti gabhasati. Sister, from the day I was born in the noble birth, 
which leads to supreme nibbana from that day on i am not aware of myself killing any living beings deliberately by this truth may they are be well being may the delivery of your child be peaceful etena satchena suvatti hotu by this truth may they all be well be sad 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 now dear children uh, this is a time for you to hear and see the good deeds done by other children so write us and send us your good deeds to mira of dhamma program the telephone number and the email address will appear in the screen so write to us send us your good deeds share your good deeds with us and we will show it to the world for you to get lot of merit so now i'll be handing over the program to Dinu Daham Puta and Devanga Daughter. Namo Buddhaya, Teruvan Saranaya. Namo Buddhaya. You have now come to the Good Deeds session, where we read and watch the good deeds done by children all around the world. My name is Devanga, and today I'm here with Dinu Daham. Namo Buddhaya. My name is Dinu Daham, and today we'll be watching the good deeds done by Brian Upasaka, Rehan Upasaka, Davisha Upasika, Sudammi Upasika, and a few kids from Toronto and the UK. The first meritorious deed was done by kids from UK and Toronto, Canada. In the previous programs, we watched episode 1, 2, and 3 of What Happens After Death. Today we'll be watching episode 4. Can you live forever? Today the children will discuss this. Let's watch episode 4. Our Supreme Buddha told us that nothing will be permanent. Death can never be avoided by any means. Like an enemy, death chases after one constantly. The cycle of death and rebirth, which is called samsara, is an endless journey. Namo Buddhaya. Do you know what the good destinations are? These are the human worlds, the six divine worlds, and the Brahma worlds. What are the six divine worlds? Chapter Maharajika divine world. Davadimsa divine world. Yama divine world. The Sita divine world. Nimmana rati. Harini mita vasavati. So should we get scared for death? No. Our Supreme Buddha said that this will happen to anyone who is born. Death can come at any time. Our life is like a drop of dew on a grass tip. When the sun comes up, it quickly evaporates and doesn't last long. In the same way, life as a human is like a dew drop. I can give you another example. It is like when it rains heavily. The bubbles quickly vanish and don't last for long. In the same way, life as a human is like a bubble. It is brief and fleeting, full of pain and misery. This is the true nature of our life. Whoever is born, they will die. Our Supreme Buddha told us that nothing will be permanent. Death can never be avoided by any means. Like an enemy, death chases after one constantly. The cycle of death and rebirth, which is called samsara, is an endless journey. Whenever we see someone ugly, sick, extremely poor and depressed, we can conclude that we have went through this suffering many times in this long journey. What is the reason for us to be born in this endless samsara? 
We do not have the knowledge of the true nature of life. We have not understood the Four Noble Truths. We are bound by craving, roaming, and wandering in this endless journey. What are those Four Noble Truths? The Noble Truth of Heaven. The Noble Truth of the Cause of Suffering. The Noble Truth of the End of Suffering. The Noble Truth of the Path to the End of Suffering. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Thiru one Saranai. Namo Pataya. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. What a beautiful video. So, whoever is born, they will die. Even Buddhas and Arahants in the past have passed away. So, we always have to do good deeds to collect enormous amount of merits in our lives. Many merits to Kai Upasaka for making the script and to Dinu Daham Upasaka for making the series of episodes. You can also create short one to two minute presentations or videos about any Dhamma topic or any meritorious deed you have done. You can then send them to our email address. The next meritorious deed was done by Tavisha Upasika. She has sent a presentation about Dhammapada verses 7 and 8. Let's see the presentation she has sent. Dhammapada verses 7 and 8 by Tavisha Dhammapada verse 7 Supanupasim viharantan Indriyesu asanvutan Bhojanam hi amatanyun Kusitan hi naviriyan Tangve pasakhati maro Whoever lives focused on pleasant things with their sense faculties unguarded, immoderate in eating, lazy and sluggish, will be overpowered by Mara, just as a storm throws down a weak tree. Dhammapada Verse 8 Asubhanupasim vikharantam Indriyesu susanvutam Bhojanam hichamattanyum Saddham aradhaviryam Tangve Whoever lives focused on the unpleasant nature of things with their sense faculties guarded, moderate in eating, faithful and diligent, will not be overpowered by Mara. Just as a storm cannot shake a rocky mountain. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Teruan Sarnai, Namo Buddhaya. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Many merits to Tavisha Upasika for sending this presentation about what happens when we become lazy and what we can do to not be overpowered by Mara. We rejoice in your merits. If you have any photos of any meritorious actions, you could send them to our email address which will appear on the screen. We will all rejoice to your good deeds. The next meritorious deed was done by Brian Upasaka and Rehan Upasaka. They have sent a presentation about Arahant Nan Dantika. Let's see the presentation. The verses of Arhantnan, Dantika. 
Going out from my daytime resting place on Mount Gijikuta, on the riverbank, I saw an elephant just after a bath. A man using a hook demanded the elephant stretch out his foot. The elephant stretched out his foot and the man climbed on its back. This elephant was previously untamed, but later it was tamed by people. I was watching how the elephant was taken under control. This incident struck my heart deeply. Having gone to the forest, I concentrated and tamed my mind. These verses were said by Arahant Nan Dantika. Namo Buddhaya. Many mirrors to Brian and Rehan for making and sending this beautiful presentation. Also, many mirrors to Nui Niu Pasika for the voiceover. We rejoice in all of your merits. The last meritorious deed was done by Sudami Pasika from Melbourne, Australia. Last week, we watched the importance of the Esola and Nikini full moon Poya days. Today, we'll be watching the importance of the Binara and Vat Poya days. Let's watch our amazing presentation. Importance of Full Moon Poya Days by Sudami Paris Binara Full Moon Poya Day in September It was also on a Binara Full Moon Poya Day that Mahaprajapati Gautami requested permission for women to ordain and enter the order. The beginning of the Bhikkhuni Sangha was on a Binara Full Moon Poya Day. Vap Full Moon Poya Day in October On a Vap Full Moon Poya Day, the Supreme Buddha ended his retreat for the rainy season, which he has spent in the Thavatimsa Heavenly World. Accompanied by a number of devotees, the Supreme Buddha declared Arahant Sariputta as the most intelligent person among all the disciples, when he successfully answered various difficult questions put to him by the Buddha. Sharing of Merit I would like to share all the merit that I have gained by making this presentation with my parents and brother, Pinwat Loku Swami Nwansa, Pinwat Vijita Vansa Swami Nwansa, Bodhidhamma Swami Mansa, Kalambu Dhamma Friend Swami Mansa, and all the monks and nuns all around the world. All my passed away relatives, all my other family and friends, with all my Dhamma friends, and with all living beings. Teruan Saranai, Namo Buddhaya. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Many merits to Sudhammi Upasika for making and sending this beautiful presentation, and many merits to Devanga for voiceovering and editing this beautiful video. We learned a lot of new interesting facts about the Binara and Vapoya days. Today we watch many good deeds done by children all around the world. May you also have the opportunity to send your good deeds to our email address. These meritorious deeds will help to propagate the Dhamma and help others to do meritorious deeds as well. We rejoice in your good deeds. The whole world rejoices in them too. May all of us have the opportunity to realize the Four Noble Truths in this Gautama Buddha's dispensation. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Teruan Saranai, Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya. Dear children, now you have come to the meditation session. So today we will be practicing loving kindness meditation. Children, uh, when you practice loving kindness meditation, you will experience love and benefits. So first of all, I will teach you the love and benefits. Then you will have a happy mind to practice the loving kindness meditation. Children, this loving kindness meditation should be practiced just like a vehicle, like a vehicle is moving, we should always practice loving-kindness. So the benefits are, 
uh, when you practice loving kindness meditation you will sleep very well you can wake up very well you won't see evil dreams you will become dear to humans and also you will become dear to non humans deities will protect you and uh, no fire no poison no weapon can affect someone one can concentrate the mind quickly one's facial complexion is serene one dies without any confusion if one does not attain a higher stage of enlightenment one will be reborn in the brahma world so if you like to go to a brahma world what should you do children practice loving kindness meditation now haven't you seen evil dreams falling from high rise buildings from mountains in the night haven't you seen funerals nightmares funerals in the night so if you don't like to see these evil dreams what should you practice loving kindness genuinely spreading thoughts of loving kindness genuinely practicing wholesome thoughts and practicing wholesome qualities so let's practice loving kindness meditation now close your eyes sit in a comfortable posture sit in a comfortable posture and then close your eyes and think according to what i say i am to closing my eyes and meditating so i will utter the verses of loving kindness meditation genuinely wholeheartedly wish for the happiness of others and wish for the happiness of yourself and others too so listen to me and think according to what i say sit in a comfortable posture okay now let's spread loving kindness may i be free from anger may i be free from ill will may i be free from jealousy may i be free from mental suffering may i be free from physical suffering may i live in peace may i live happily now let's wish for the happiness of the beings who are living at the place you are right now it could be your house may all beings in this place be free from anger be free from ill will be free from jealousy be free from mental suffering be free from physical suffering may they live in peace may they live happily may 
may all beings in this city now children there are many beings in this city there are animals creatures demons there are many non human beings and many human beings also so try to spread loving kindness to all those beings think that there are enormous living beings in this city think of them and spread loving kindness may all beings in this city be free from anger be free from ill will be free from jealousy be free from mental suffering be free from physical suffering may they live in peace may they live happily may all beings in this province be free from anger be free from ill will be free from jealousy may all beings in this province be free from anger be free from ill will be free from jealousy be free from mental suffering be free from physical suffering may they live in peace may they live happily may all beings in this country be free from anger be free from ill will be free from jealousy be free from mental suffering be free from physical suffering may they live in peace may 
दे लिव हैप्पी चलो नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्प्रेड लविंग काइंडनेस टुवर्ड्स ऑल बीइंग्स लिविंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड सो थिंक अबाउट द वर्ल्ड ओके नाउ लेट्स स्प्रेड लविंग काइंडनेस मे ऑल बीइंग्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड be free from anger be free from ill will be free from jealousy be free from mental suffering be free from physical suffering may they live in peace me de live happily me all beings in all worlds now children we should think of all beings in all worlds without neglecting anyone we can spread loving kindness how fortunate we are let's spread loving kindness to all living beings in all worlds me all beings in all worlds be free from anger be free from ill will be free from jealousy be free from mental suffering be free from physical suffering may they live in peace may they live happily may all beings be free from anger be free from ill will be free from jealousy be free from mental suffering be free from physical suffering may they live in peace me de live happily me all be be well and happy
be well and happy. Now slowly open your eyes. Sad, sad, sad. Namo Buddhaya, Teruan Saranaya. Now we have come to the merit sharing. So today's program is sponsored by a family from uh, Canada, Toronto, connected to Toronto Mahameo Nawasapur Dhamma School. So the program is sponsored by Imesh Adhuva and Shavin Putas family. And uh, they would like to share merit with uh, Pingvad Loka Samin Vahansa, Jeevananda Samin Vahansa, and with the monks uh, who conduct the Mirror of Dhamma program, then Lakkana Deva Samin Vahansa, and all the other resident monks and Vanyan Vahansas in Mahamuna monasteries. And also they would like to share merit with their parents and with their relatives. So, first of all, as usual, uh, let's share merit with all the Devas. May all the Devas rejoice in this merit. May they be well and happy. May they develop in divinely happiness. May they develop in uh, Shraddha, Sila, Sutta, Jaga, Panya. And uh, may they realize the Four Noble Truths. May they protect us and may they realize the Four Noble Truths in this Gautama Buddha's dispensation. Sad, Sadhu, Sadhu. And also, may all the departed uh, relatives of uh, these children, especially they have uh, mentioned that uh, Imesha and Shivan like to share merit with their departed grandparents. They are uh, Bertram Pereira, Samson Vijaysingh, Rukmani Vijaysingh, and departed uncle Dilan Vijaysingh, uh, departed friend Tinesha Dasanayak, and all the other departed relatives and Dhamma friends in this long sansara. So, we have been coming in a long journey of sansara. So, the number of people have passed away is more than the number of stars is enormous. It's uncountable. So, may all those departed relatives rejoice in this merit and may they have happiness, comfort, and may they escape from sansara as soon as possible. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And also, may uh, our teacher Loka Saminvahansa, Pingvat Loka Saminvahansa, Jeevananda Saminvahansa, Lakhana Deva Saminvahansa, and all the other resident Saminvahansas and Manian Vahansas in Mahaminava Buddhist monastery, monks and nuns from all over the world, Rejoice in this merit and may they be well and happy, have happiness, long life, well-being, comfort and realize the Four Noble Truths in this Gautama Buddha's dispensation. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. And also may Imesha and Shivan uh, be well and happy and also they like to share merit with their parents, Prasan and Iresha Pereira. Iresha Pereira and Grandmother Rani Pereira and all the relatives and all the Dhamma school teachers and Dhamma friends too. So, very compassionate children who Imasha Dua and uh, Shivan Puta. So, they like to share merit with their parents, grandparents, with their relatives. So, may Imesha Dua and Shivan Puta also rejoice in this merit and by the power of this merit, may everyone in your family and may all your friends May everyone who is suffering from the COVID-19 uh, be well and happy and get well soon and have long life, well-being, comfort and energy to realize the Four Noble Truths in this Gautama Buddha's dispensation. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. And one more thing, uh, Ima Shadhu and Shavin Puta should be very happy and fortunate. Today's the program uh, is very special. We did, we explain about the heart of Mahameonava, where a lot of monks and nuns received, uh, they came, they gave up their lay life. And our teacher, Loka Samin Mahansa, propagated the Buddha's teachings and sent monks to various monasteries and to other countries to propagate the Buddha's teachings. 
and a lot of Buddha's relic signs shrine, a lot of Arahan relic signs shrine. The first uh, great mansion, the great palace built for the Buddha in Mahamayana Buddhist monasteries. So it was a great blessing for us to know about our main monastery and about our teacher and the function and uh, all the meritorious things that happen in the main monastery. So you gain a great merit today, children, and all the other children who join for this program. May they also realize the Four Noble Truths and may all the people who donate for the Sraddha TV uh, Dhamma Propagation, uh, may they be well and happy, have happiness. And all of them, may all of them realize the Four Noble Truths in this Gautama Buddha's dispensation. Sadhu, 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 Namo Buddhaya.